यार ये कल लेनेट योरसेल्फ की डेडलाइन है एनएसएस समझा देगा कल ले लेनेट योरसेल्फ ओ शिट यार गुरुज कल अपना लेनेट योरसेल्फ की डेडलाइन है ब्लूटूथ आता है ब्लूटूथ एक मिनट लेने का सुधार दुनिया में कोई अपना नहीं है The different questions about Bluetooth that we will be covering are: What is Bluetooth? What is Bluetooth interface? How do I enable Bluetooth in my device? and what are the versions of bluetooth and their standards okay let's start with the first question what is bluetooth bluetooth is a short range wireless technology that lets you connect computers mobile phones and handheld devices to each other and to the internet Bluetooth technology eliminates the need for the cables that connect devices together. Bluetooth enable devices connect wirelessly within a 10 meter range. The second question is what is Bluetooth interface? Bluetooth interface is an application for communicating with a microcontroller device to provide control functions and much more over a Bluetooth ser serial connection. Bluetooth interface acts as the screen and buttons to your device. Next question, how do I enable Bluetooth in my device? Before your application can communicate over Bluetooth, you need to verify that Bluetooth is supported on the device, and if so, ensure that it is enabled. If Bluetooth is not supported, then you should gracefully disable any Bluetooth features. If Bluetooth is supported but disabled, then you can request that the user enable Bluetooth without leaving your application. Next question: What are the versions of Bluetooth and the standards? The versions of Bluetooth are Bluetooth 2.x, the most popular variant, especially 2.1. The 2.1 version make it makes it easier to pair with different devices, even from different manufacturers. It introduces the enhanced data rate (EDR) capability. The next version is Bluetooth 3.x, introduces support for an alternate lower layer. That is, all the applications that were available with Bluetooth radio earlier can be run over an alternate radio. Say, like the 8.02.11. This feature is. called high speed the next version is bluetooth 4.x it introduces support for collecting data from devices which generate data at a very low rate the main intent of this feature called low energy is to aggregate data from various sensors like heart heart rate monitors thermometers etc the various questions regarding wifi will be answering in this module are one what is wifi second what are the various security protocols and encryption technologies third what are the various wifi standards fourth what kind of hardware is required
Okay, to address the various questions raised in the previous module, starting with the first question, what is Wi-Fi? Uh, Wi-Fi is any facility allowing computers, smartphones or any other devices to connect to the internet or communicate with one another wirelessly within a particular area. The Wi-Fi Alliance defines Wi-Fi as any wireless local area network, that is WLAN, pr uh, products that are based on the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers 802.11 standard. Moving on to question number two, what are the various security protocols and encryption technologies prevent, for preventing information leak. Since unlike a wired connection where communication is limited between one user and the other, Wi-Fi network can be accessed by multiple users in the range of an access point and hence are vulnerable to security risks. The most common wireless encryption standard, WEP, that is Wired Equivalent Privacy, is easily breakable even when the uh, uh, device is correctly configured. Wi-Fi uh, protected access WPA and WPA2 encryption which became available in 2003 and are used nowadays aim to solve this problem. Next up is what are the various Wi-Fi standards. 802.11 and 802.11x refers to a family of specifications developed by the IEEE for WLAN technology. 802.11 specifies an over the air interface between a wireless client that is a device and a base station that is your router, Wi-Fi adapter, etc. or between any two wireless clients. There are several specifications in the 802.11 family, 802.11G. It applies to WLANs and is used for transmission over short distances at up to 54 Mbps in the 2.4 GHz band. 802.11N 802.11N builds upon previous 802.11 standards by adding multiple input, multiple output, MIMO. The additional transmitter and receiver antenna allow for increased data throughput through spatial multiplexing and increased range by exploiting the spatial diversity. It is up to 4 to 5 times faster than 802.11G. Next is 802.11AC. 802.11ac builds upon previous 802.11 standards, particularly the 802.11n standard, to deliver data rates of 433 Mbps per spatial stream or 1.3 GB in a 3 antenna 3 stream design. The 802.11ac specification operates only in the 5 GHz frequency range and features support for wider channels and beamforming capabilities by default to help achieve its higher wireless speed. Moving on to our last question in this module, what kind of hardware is required? With the advancement in technology, minimum hardware is required to build yourselves a wireless hotspot. Various hardware types required for setting up a Wi-Fi network are a WAP, that is, a wireless access point which connects a group of wireless devices to an adjacent wired LAN, wireless adapters, wireless routers, network bridges, USB adapters, and even your mobile phones can act as a wireless hotspot. Okay, so picking up from my last video blog where I told you guys that we can even use our smartphones as an access point for creating a Wi-Fi hotspot. Let me demonstrate it here for you in this video. Okay, let's begin. As you can see, to make my Wi-Fi hotspot with my phone, I go to my device settings and uh, I open testing and hotspot settings. Okay, so here I enable my Wi-Fi mobile Wi-Fi hotspot feature which gives me a notification in my notification bar yeah testing or hotspot active touch to setup okay so now just for the sake of personalization let me change my SSID which is initially my name to something else something funky let's try funky and uh, okay you can see the security we are using is WPA2 so that is uh, short for Wi-Fi protected access and uh, just by the way, FII, SSID is short for sh uh, uh, service set ID, which is something I told you in my video blog. And uh, the frequency we're using is 2.4 gigahertz frequency band. Okay, so the password is Agam Singh and save. There we go, it's active. So now let me check it in my other device. I go to my Wi Fi settings and Connect to funky password Agam Singh. Yeah. Connect. Okay, so as you can see in the notification bar, 
the Wi-Fi is now active and we're connected to Funky. That's how you do it. So in this video, we'll be addressing some questions about NFC and the questions will be What is NFC? What are the different types of NFC? How does the communication take place? So here are the answers to the questions which are raised regarding NFC. The first question, what is NFC? NFC stands for Near Field Communication. It is a form of short range contactless communication between devices like smartphones or tablets. What are the types of NFC? NFC is of two types, magnetic NFC and electric NFC. Magnetic NFC is used for communication between submarines and electric NFC is the NFC which is available in today's smartphones and tablets. What does the, how does the communication take place? The flow of current in the NFC chip results in the formation of a short range magnetic field which when brought near another NFC chip induces current in it thus enabling con a connection between the two devices. Well, uh, today I will be showing you how to transfer data with the help of NFC. So I just switch on my phone and I look for the photogra photograph that I want to uh, send and uh, I I have two compatible NFC devices and I just tap them on the back and the phone will ask whether you want to send it and you just press on it once and it starts getting sent and uh, here you can see it, it's getting sent and well that's it uh, now I have the file and here is it